snow, cold, frozen fields. All of those can play havoc with baseball and softball players. And for the Syracuse University softball team, when their field isn't ready, they have to look at other venues to get games in. For the second straight year, the Orange took to the field inside for its Duel at the Dome event. With the regular season already two-thirds the way finished, these are SU's first home games of the year. So with cold weather a constant threat, the only thing to do is hit the road. We're really lucky with college because we get to travel. Unlike high school, you practice in a gym, practice in a gym, and then you go right outside. But with college, we get to go travel the country playing the sport we love, and we get to play outside all year round. But it's not easy constantly being the road team. After a 43-16 and 16 record last year, SU softball started off this season just 9-14, and 14, but the Orange just has to make the best of it. There's a home field advantage to a point, but for us, we have to not take that into consideration. That can't be part of our game because we're on the road so much for so many games that we just need to, to treat it as if we're home wherever we are. In total, the Cuse will play just 13 of its 53 games at its own outdoor field. That's what makes games like the one at the Carrier Dome so important. It's a chance for the Orange to play at home in perfect conditions. What makes conditions inside the Carrier Dome so perfect? Well, for starters, you've got great lighting, mild temperatures, no rocks on the field. But even the perfect conditions can have their own set of drawbacks. The turf in here is pretty fast, just like the fields when we were out west preseason. They're pretty fast. They're hard and fast. So. You know, the one advantage we have is we don't have bad hops, you know, so you got to get used to that. When, when they get outside, they're now seeing the ball against the sun and against a blue sky uh, and not against a white dome and, and lights. And I think that, that's hard. You saw that in here. Coming back inside is tough when you, once you've been outside. The ball just looks a little different at first, but, again, you adjust. But what about teams that don't have the option of playing inside? Syracuse University hasn't had a baseball team since the program was cut after 1972 but it does have a club team, and the weather is usually its toughest opponent. Spring is always rough. It's the three years that I've been here, um, we've probably only been able to get four or five series in combined over those three years. Still, there's something about playing America's pastime in the season it was meant to be played in, and even when you have to play through the cold and the snow, Finnerty says it's all worth it. It is frustrating, but you, you think about it and you say, hey, this is what we got. We only get it. We only get to play a couple times a year, so let's make the best of it. 